<laughs> well, uh, my name's Tim Bennett, and this is Will Hoffman, and we're going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, our di discovery of Hampton's Battery Rock back in 1990. 1990. And uh, Will, maybe you start off. This is uh, one of the photos that you you found in your in your grouping. Uh, how did what was all in that grouping? How did you come across that grouping? Or uh, well, as uh, fate would have it, I was lucky enough to buy a grouping belonging to Samuel Creese, his descendants, and they came out of the family homestead. And in that grouping was Samuel Creese's artillery jacket and a lot of personal items. But the thing that really caught my interest, and I showed it to Tim, was actual photographs of Hampton's Battery Rock at Gettysburg. Yeah, it must have been uh, students of uh, Gettysburg. Yeah, that really caught our our attention. Uh, so Tim and I decided that we should go down and see if we could locate Hampton's uh, monument, and in particular the Battery Rock with. Uh, inscription on the back of the photograph said that behind this rock on July 3rd we carried our dead and wounded. Now that was handwritten on the back of this one, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, that was on the back Handwritten of that one. on the back of this one with the two veterans sitting on the uh, battery rock. Yeah. I think that's what caught our attention because we couldn't really place where that uh, rock was or even where that was taken at. There was that farm behind it and we just, we knew it was on the battlefield there, but we had no idea where to begin. Where to start looking. When we first uh, went down there, of course we uh, found the Hampton's uh, monument where the veterans were gathered for their reunion. Or dedication of the monument, I'm not sure which it was. Yeah. But it said behind their battery position is where the dead and wounded were carried on July 3rd. And my first thoughts were after we were down there a while was that uh, perhaps the battery rock had been uh, bulldozed or moved away uh, to build the Pennsylvania monument. Yeah, yeah. Because that it set their, their positions right in front of, just yeah. west of the Pennsylvania Monument. Just west of the Pennsylvania Monument. So, after a while we decided, no, nah, I don't think so. There was no other outcroppings of rock right there. No. It was just uh, a field, and uh, there was a patch of woods, what, a thousand yards or so? Well. Uh, yeah, it's not that far back over that ridge. Maybe 100, maybe 150 to 200 yards back or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And there was a patch of woods there with lots of brush and vines and briars and and you could see some rocks in there. So we decided to go down in there and start looking to see if we could find a rock. Yeah. And sure enough. Mm -hmm. There's a picture taken the day we found the rock. Yeah, yeah. And that was uh, 1990. 1990. There's a picture of Tim by the rock. We pulled a few of the bushes away and everything. <laughs> but there we are at the rock. Yeah. I was trying to think. When we went down there, I think we, we first went out to the peach orchard. Mm -hmm. Looked around. We had this picture. Did we take it to somebody at the? Did we take it to the park service and ask if they could identify that farm? Did they give us a, a clue that it might be the Hollenbaugh farm, or not? I don't or did we figure that out after we found the rock? I, yeah, that's I, what that I, was. That I was think, the Hollenbaugh. I think we figured that out after we found the rock. Yeah, okay. They, 
The house is still there. Yeah, yeah. The house is still there. You can't, you couldn't see it at the time we were there with all the brush in the woods, but uh, the house is there. So these were the fields that we're seeing behind the, the picture of this rock is where the second core actually mm -hmm. was formed up when they first arrived pretty much on the field. They were yeah. in division fronts there. And uh, the Hollenbaugh house is, uh, uh, well, like I say, it's still there. So it's, yeah. uh, it, now they've got that cleared out, we can look right across the same angle. We had a great day that yeah, day. Well, it was a, it was yeah, it was a day. real uh, investigation, you know, real of uh, the Gettysburg. But what was interesting, we wrote, once we found it, and it was in the woods, we wrote to the, uh, the Park Service, and uh, figuring it was Gettysburg, we figured we're never going to hear back from the park right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they could care less or they they, they weren't going to take any uh, uh, information from us if they're not uh, well known to them but uh, within a week uh, this is uh, the letters dated December 19th 1990 so uh, it was after we had found this and apparently this is in May or is it July. July of 1990. July. And by the time we got around sending the letter, they wrote back. And what was interesting was uh, uh, they said, thank you for your interesting uh, letter and photographs uh, concerning Hampton's Battery Rock. Uh, they provide more information than the, the, the regimental history. And the senior park historian, Kathy George Harrison, will be contacting you in the near future to further clarify this history. So we got an immediate response right away from them. They were interested in, in this. Because really at Gettysburg, rock formations are so important to the understanding of the battle. And this was one that uh, had escaped uh, their uh, notice for a hundred years. But this was Reed Engel that wrote this. And I was talking to, uh, down here this year, Reed Engel was long, long gone from the Park Service. And he said, we went to the, the field today and located the rock. The area in which it is located is part of a forest, now a former field that has been allowed to grow up in the last 20 years to screen the maintenance building. The position of the rock, however, adjacent to the cleared field to the south will allow us to clear that section and uh, not limit the tree screen. We expect to do this work in January or February so that the rock will again be exposed the next time you visit. And thank you for your interest at Gettysburg National Battlefield Park. And it wasn't long after that they sent us photographs. Well, they had gone out there and cleared all around uh, Hampton's Battery Rock. I think what was interesting too that probably uh, also captured your attention was that the picture of Hampton's Battery Rock, this exact same picture we have here, is pictured in the uh, Regimental History for right. the Battery. Yeah, it was in the book. Yeah. Is it pictured in, in, the, uh, in the book on the history of the battery so they must have must have gave copies of that photograph to the veterans that were there for the dedication yeah. or something too or else they could have had their their uh, copy made from it but uh, yeah. yeah and we got their attention yeah and uh, like I say uh, when you see everything that goes on at Gettysburg what we've seen that's going on on the battlefield in the last 20 years uh, between Frasinito's work yeah and how they've cleared the field back the way it, it, it was. Uh, you can see how, I mean, yeah, you can collect uh, uh, historical items, and, and uh, but this is something that uh, you can keep even after the, those items move on to somebody else. At least we were kind of involved in real Gettysburg history yeah. at the time. Because 
it had been long forgotten and nobody was even looking for it and yeah without, long without long. the pictures we would have never found it too yeah I mean, it was lost we, it was yeah. lost to history yeah. well in fact that's what uh, i think our next letter uh said when uh when they uh, they wrote back another time after they had cleared the out around the rock i thought it was interesting um, the way he put it uh, uh, that it, it had eluded the park service and uh, historians for a hundred years and they thanked us for uh, rediscovering it so it was yeah it was fun you don't get like I say you don't get to do that very often especially as, as well known as Gettysburg is and as well studied as it is to be uh, be a part of, yeah. of the Gettysburg history battlefield history to be able to go there and say yes we yeah we, we contributed to, it was to the lost. history of and we found it. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was fun. We had a good time. Yeah. It was a good thing you uh, were able to acquire the grouping when you did. And yeah. things worked out that way. So very good. All right. Congratulations. And 21 years later. Yeah, 21 years later. <laughs> yes. Thank you.